Hello guys, last week Taylor Otwell unexpectedly announced a new Laravel package called Wayfinder. And usually such packages were announced during Laracons or with major Laravel versions, but this time Taylor just kinda casually walked into the room and tweeted this big thing on a random Wednesday. In this video I will show you Wayfinder in action, we've tried it out, and I'll show you why you may want to use it for your React or Vue projects, especially if you like strict types. So this is the GitHub already with 700 stars, and first disclaimer, it's still early days, important. Wayfinder is public but still in beta version, currently it's 0.1, so some significant things may still change, but I will show you the overview as it is at the moment. And I will show you the example based on React Starter Kit with Laravel 12, this is the project that we created during the course on Laravel Daily, this one React Starter Kit with CRUD, and I will show you this project without Wayfinder with Ziggy for routing, and then I will install Wayfinder and show what it does instead. Also, side note, we tried Wayfinder with React, we haven't tried with Vue, I assume it should work with Vue as well, but we haven't tried. So let's take a look at the code. In this page of creating task category, in the form we have a method which posts the data to the route of tasks categories store. This is the route defined in routes web like this, with route resource. So to be able to use that route name in the JavaScript, there's a method route which comes from a package called Ziggy. Here I am in the vendor folder of Titan Co. Ziggy, and this is the original package for that, used in the starter kits and in many more Laravel projects, with 4000 stars created by Titan, and its purpose is to enable you to use Laravel routes in JavaScript. Without that Ziggy package, you would write the URL something like this without route names. But we all know that route naming is a good practice and we should do that with route names and reuse that both in Laravel and in JavaScript. But the problem with this route is that there is no validation and there's no autocomplete for routing. For example, you put in task categories and there's no autocomplete for store, unless you use some plugin like Laravel ID and PHP Storm or rely on some AI based autocompletion. So there's no even validation. So what if someone mistypes, for example, put create instead of store or something like that? Yes, there would be an error afterwards, but only at the time of executing that script. So this is exactly the problem that Wayfinder is trying to solve with TypeScript. And TypeScript is used in the starter kits, we use that also in our forms, but also from the default starter kit, there's a type called breadcrumb item. To generate these items on top, there's a type that title and href should be inside of that type for all the items that you want to show there. So starter kits already contain breadcrumb items, navigation items, user and other types. And I have a separate video about TypeScript in starter kits and I will link that in the description below. But now let's get back to our example. How does Wayfinder make it better. So I have installed Wayfinder with just Compose Require and executed one command PHP Artisan, Wayfinder Generate. It generated two folders, resources.js actions and resources.js routes with TypeScript types inside. And before I explain you what's inside, let's actually use that in action. We need to import the type for the route or for the controller, something like this. And then instead of putting route name like this, we can do task categories, the first autocomplete, then store the second autocomplete and then URL like this. So this is one way to reference that route by task categories from routes, but also you can do that from controller. So this is where I need to explain the structure. Wayfinder generates resources.js routes, for example, and here you can see all the routes for all the methods of that controller. For example, task categories store is here, the one that we used, but also there's a folder resources.js actions, which create the types referencing the controllers. So for example, there's one task category controller with a lot of types, one for each method. So we can instead import the controller from that task category controller and then change that task categories to task category controller store URL like this. Again, this is beta version of finder, maybe the syntax would change. But basically, there are two ways to reference your controllers or routes with strict types by importing them on top 
like this. Also in the official documentation, you may find that you can install npm package and configure Vite to watch the changes in your routes files. So those TypeScript files would be automatically regenerated. So technically you can use Wayfinder instead of Ziggy in your projects or remove Ziggy from here. If you use starter kits, maybe they will release new versions of starter kits with Wayfinder inside, we'll see. You may still use Ziggy, it doesn't go anywhere and it is maybe a bit more convenient because you don't need to write import every time in every file. So this is a personal preference. And Taylor on Twitter also replied, is this replacing Ziggy? With a comment that it can be seen as alternative to that. And also Daniel, one of the original creators of Ziggy, tweeted that Wayfinder is a clearly much more powerful package and this is a good thing. So there's no competition between new Wayfinder and old Ziggy. There's room for both and it's probably a personal preference. And also credit to the people who actually created Wayfinder. Taylor mentioned Joe Tannenbaum and Tim McDonald, who are team members of Laravel. So thank you, Joe and Tim, for Wayfinder. So yeah, what do you think about this new package? Will you use it? You probably should wait until the release of version 1. But for now, we can share our opinions. So let's discuss everything in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.